Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my Leo soulmate, uh, soul family members doing out there? Um, I hope you're all doing great. My name is Morty. Welcome to today's read. Um, today I thought I would do a read for the sign of Leo. Right, so this would be a, a mid-January read for January 2019. So I just want to see what energies Leo has before, right, mid-month. Um, see what positive energies Leo may have that you might want to resonate, right, and bring into your atmosphere. Um, and also be aware of which limiting energies may be out there for you, right? So that you can know to uh, of what's ahead, right? Because tarot reading, I mean, it really, it's not a crystal ball. It's a forecast, right? Kind of like the weatherman. I'm just letting the signs know exactly what kind of energies are ahead of you. And hopefully being able to give you some good guidance and some good tips on what it is you can do to attract and bring in those, those um, positive resonating energies that you want to attract into your life, right? Um, yeah, because it's all about um, the message that I share with all of you. It's all about this message being able to reach all of you and connect with you in a way that allows you to be able to have a better understanding of what's ahead of you so that you can live happier, more fulfilling lives. So, I'm just trying to raise everybody's frequency, right? That's kind of my gift back to the world, right? It's my way of sharing. And to be honest, it's what makes me feel fantastic. So, speaking of, I want to thank everybody for all the comments and the likes and subscribes and shares. I mean, I love reading, I read all of them, right? And I respond back to pretty much all of them. Um, I love learning that my reads on my channel are resonating with so many of you. Um, that you're connecting with the energies that I'm picking up with in the tarot read, right? And as a tarot reader, what I'm, the, way I, the way I do a read is I speak the truth, right? Whatever the cards are showing. But I'm looking for the best possible outcome, right? So you need to know that about me. Um, that's the direction I go. I don't focus on those negative energies and I don't get caught up in that. Um, it just doesn't serve me, right? It doesn't serve any of us. Um, we're all looking for the best possible outcome. So really, that's truly what I'm trying to create, right? That's the direction and that's the energy that I'm sending throughout the read. Um, yeah, so if you're a doom and gloomer, I'm probably not your guy, right? But if you want to have hope, you want to have love and light in your life, right? And, you know, dream for a better tomorrow, right? Prepare and plan for a better tomorrow. Live a better tomorrow. Maybe you'll like my reads. All right. So Leo, it's a fun sign, right? One of my favorite signs. Um, Leo's very outgoing, very, I mean, fantastic energy. I mean, in the tarot world, Leo, you're blessed with the best cards, you know. You have the sun card and you have the strength card, right? The sun card, many argue, is the best card in, in the entire tarot deck. Um, it's just the best energy. So, Leo's, I mean, you have such a big heart, you know. You're always the first to step up to help out, right? Help out a friend in need. Um, they're optimistic. Um, Leos, they love to be in the limelight, right? Love to have the attention on them. And most of them are very well equipped for that attention, too. Um, yeah, you can be dominating at times. Uh, you can be possessive, very loyal. Um, you can, uh, you're intelligent. You can also be very headstrong. Um, and you can come across as a little bit arrogant. So, all the signs have positive traits and then some limiting traits that go along with them. So, it's kind of fun to just take a minute and talk about just a few. Okay, on that note, let's get started with this read. Um, so, you may have your sun sign in Leo, or you may have your moon or rising in Leo, or you may just be checking up on a Leo friend. Or you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Either way, welcome. I'm happy to have you. And what I want to do is I just want to see what opening affirmation Leo has, taking them into the read, right? What is it that Leo needs to hear? Hey, Leo, and you pulled a beautiful affirmation. Friendship. The number 14. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Yeah, that was interesting. So as I was reading that affirmation that the third time, I happened to look up at the clock and it was 444, you know. Just synchronicities, it's number 14. <clears throat> 
I recognize a lot of those. I know a bunch of, there's a, quite a few of us out there that do the same thing. You know, I read about them in the comments. So, yeah, for all my other soul family members out there that follow synchronicities like me, it's awesome. So, friendship for Leo. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful affirmation. I love the colors in the affirmation, too. It's well written, um, kind of poetic like. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. I mean, that kind of defines friendship, right? In its purest form. Friends that share, laugh, understand one another. So, this will be interesting to see how that particular affirmation fits into today's tarot read. So, I'm doing today's read with my Crystal Vision tarot set. pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to just give them one more shuffle. Then I like to cut the deck three times. I pull the bottom card and I just see what the opening energy is for Leo taking us into the read. Okay. Good card for Leo. Leo, you have the Two of Pentacles, right? So the Two of Pentacles, this is a card about balance, right? If you look at, if you see the nymph here on the card, right? She's kind of maintaining a very beautiful kind of artistic pose as she's balancing these pentacles at the ends of her arms, right? I'm just going to hold the card up close there. I mean, she's beautiful. It's graceful the way she's doing it. She's doing a great job balancing. But nonetheless, needing to balance. All right, so Leo, tell us what's going on in your world. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, right? Queen of Cups, the most loving queen. The Queen of Cups sits at this at her reed throne. She sits with both feet in the water, right? Representing emotion, feeling, love. She sits under a full moon. She's perfect balance of love and harmony. Um, all loving, unconditional loving, all accepting, all understanding. This is a great energy for Leo. So water sign, so Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, doesn't have to be though. Leo, we have the Nine of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, this is a good energy, right? This is the energy, if you look at the figure in the card, she sits on this hill, right? She's been in battle, and now she's resting, and she's sitting next to her lion, and she has these wands lit around her, right? She's looking out this direction, and the lion is watching her back. This is the, this is the, the energy of paying attention, right? Remaining alert, right? Um, yeah, so right offhand, I just... For Leos out there, this is a good time for you to be very alert, paying attention in your life. I'll know more as more cards fall. Okay, well, we have a couple. We have the King of Cups. King of Cups, the most loving king. Um, I call him the Love King. He sits at, uh, at his reed throne. This king has one foot in the water, one foot on dry land, right? So he can be very emotional, but he's balanced with his emotions, right? This is a very intuitive king, right? Very intuitive energy, very connected. Water sign, so Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Male energy, but doesn't have to be. Leo, this could be your energy, right? Or some Leos could be involved with a water sign in your life, right? Especially where we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. I think that's probably pretty applicable for a lot of Leos out there, right? You're, you're involved in a relationship with a water sign. We have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, this is a pretty good energy. Um, it represents having choices, right? But in many cases, it can represent the energy of having too many choices, right? So in a way, this can be a hindrance. 
Um, so depending on who you are, Leo, in your life, what's happening, regardless, I'm sure you probably have a lot of choices. But keep in mind, if having too many choices is preventing you from being able to move forward, like the figure in the card here, she's unable to make a choice, right? Then that's something you need to be aware of. Okay, Leo, tell me more. I mean, I, I love your cards. They're coming out so easily today. Okay, Leo, you have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles, this represents the energy of becoming master at your trade, right? Becoming very skilled at what it is you do. Right? So this is Leo taking the time, just like the figure here in the card, at her spinning wheel. She's carefully lining everything up on the spinning wheel. She wants to make sure she's the best at it, right? We have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is coming in under the Queen of Cups. So, the Six of Cups. This represents the energy of looking back on the past, right? Looking back on memories of the past. Maybe brighter times. Um, easier times, right? Because all these cups are full that are here in the water, right? And she's being offered this last one by this little girl. And if you look at her, I mean, there's a part of her It looks like she wants to stay, right? Maybe because it's comfortable there. There's security and stability there, right? But she knows that she needs to move forward. Leo, we have the Empress. Empress, this is a beautiful card. This is a great energy. And this is coming in under the Nine of Wands. All right, so the Empress, this represents the energy of unconditional love, right, nurturing energy. The Empress here in this, in this card, you can see that she's with child, right? She's wearing this beautiful dress. You can see that she's pregnant here. <clears throat> so this can represent pregnancy for some Leos out there. Just a, just a heads up. She has one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. Representing balance. Sorry, I have the Empress coming in under the Queen of Cups. And coming in under the Nine of Wands, I have the Magician. This is great, Leo. Um, this is one of my favorite cards in a set. Uh, the Magician is just that, right? He manifests. Right? So, Leo, you have this energy of the Magician coming into your atmosphere. It's allowing you to manifest, right? To manifest whatever it is in your life that you're wanting, whatever it is you're desiring. The magician is balanced and you know, mind, body, and spirit, also the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire, stands above a crescent moon. Crescent moon representing unseen energy, right? That's what magicians do is they move energy. And then the Six of Cups came in under the King of Cups. Alright, Leo, tell me more. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. Right? So Leo, this could be your energy, right? fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the Queen of Wands, I mean, this is a great energy, right? This is a, it's a very invigorating energy. Um, it's, um, it's a kind of energy that rubs off on other people, right? That other people recognize and it energizes them. Kind of has this magnetic charm to it, right? This magnetic dynamic to it. Queen of Wands represents strength as she stands next to her, eye, her lion. Queen of Wands has direction in her life, represented by the eagles flying above her head. This is coming in under the Seven of Cups. Okay, Leo. You have the Knight of Swords. 
And this is coming in under the Eight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Swords, like all knights, it's an energy that shows up, right? It's a reliable energy. So Leo, this is an energy that's coming into your atmosphere. Um, the knight, this knight, he comes flying in on, on his horse, right? His horse has wings. It's, so he flies in, sword drawn, ravens behind him, like he's coming in for battle. But there isn't a battle for him to fly into. So this can be the energy of, of um, the energy of a new way of thinking, right? A new way of, of seeing things, a new way of being. And that's coming in under the Eight of Pentacles. All right, Leo, tell me more. Okay, Leo, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a beautiful card. It's a great energy. This represents the energy of full abundance, right? She sits at this tree in front of her castle. She's surrounded by these Ten Pentacles. Tamed wolf, deer that's not scared, right? She's surrounded by abundance. She's worked hard for this abundance. This is taking time to enjoy and appreciate this abundance, right? So this is coming into Leo's atmosphere. Beautiful. Leo, you have the Four of Wands. This is known as the Happily Ever After card. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's two people, right? Two people coming together. Right? They're not just meeting, right? They're connecting. They're forming a union between the two of them. A bond. It's a bond of unconditional love. It's a bond saying, I have your back for life. I love the background behind them too. And just beautiful colors. Okay, um, Leo, give me just a few seconds here to take a look at this read and kind of see what I see and then um, I'll share it with you. Okay, <clears throat> so Leo, going into the read, working on your balance, right? <clears throat> you probably have a lot going on in your life that you're trying to juggle, right? Trying to keep everything in check and in balance. So some Leos are definitely in a relationship with a water sign, right? <clears throat> so the water sign can be their sun sign or it could be their moon or rising sign. But water sign, meaning Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Cups, which is the most loving queen, right? Just It's the energy that it represents. Right next to the Empress, which is the most loving, nurturing energy available. These two energies together, I mean, it's dynamic. I mean, Leo, you have, you have such an abundance of unconditional love in your atmosphere right now. You're lucky. So, Leo, the read wants you to understand and know, to be aware that you are manifesting right now, right? So, pay close attention to what it is, to where it is you're spending your energy on your thoughts, right? Because it's our energy from our thoughts that turn into manifestations, right? Think it, see it, believe it. So you're being reminded that you have the energy of the magician right now. So pay close attention to what it is you're wanting to manifest for yourself and make sure that that's truly what it is you want. And then manifest it. I think that some Leos out there I think you're, you're probably taking time to look back on memories of the past, maybe memories that you had with this water sign, right? Um, 
of good times, right? Of fond times, of loving times. Right? Those are good memories, right? The memories that serve you well. Leo, you have so many choices ahead of you, right? In front of you. Take your time. Take your time, make sure that you're choosing something that you truly want in your life, right? You're just being cautioned to really make sure that you're using wisdom on your choices. Yeah, and you know, I think for some of those out there, <clears throat> as it pertains to, to your work, right, your career, what it is you do, your trade. Um, I think some of you may be taking on kind of a new way of thinking, right? Some of you may be changing jobs, right? And changing careers. Um, but I see, a, I see a, a new way of thinking, right? And I'm seeing and a feeling and a believing coming into your atmosphere for many Leos out there. And this new way of thinking, it serves you well. Because Leo, <clears throat> you're opening affirmations, friendship, right? Calling out to the universe for, the, for those, those meaningful friendships to have in your life. And you have abundance coming your way. It's beautiful. Leo, a union, right? So this can be a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be. I think for many Leos it is, right? This is, a high, this is the highest level of commitment between two people, right here. It's beautiful. Okay, Leo, I think I'm done. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to do this read for you. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a good read. Uh, you, have, uh, you have a great month ahead of you, right? All kinds of potential. Leo, you are manifesting, manifesting, and you're manifesting abundance into your life, right? You're also manifesting love, love of the highest caliber. It's awesome. Leo, I'm happy for you. Thank you for letting me do this read for you. Thanks for everybody that's uh, watched and had a chance to uh, to take a look at it. I'm anxious to hear your comments, to see whether or not it resonated. Um, thanks for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. Um, if any of you are interested in getting a personal read, right? Because this is a general read, but if you want a specific read, just as it pertains to you, right? Or maybe somebody that you want to ask about, you can do that in the description below. Just send me an email. Um, it's $40, and I send you a link for a half-hour read it's just for you. So, anyways, I want to thank everybody that's uh, contributed and donated towards the channel. Um, you are what helps all this stay alive and what, what allows me to be able to do this. So, thank you so much. You guys, have a great, uh, have a great weekend, and good luck this month.